Hi everybody, I'm Connor's mum. I'm here with Connor today. Yeah. He's, he's actually come home, so yeah. it's nice to see him. All right, there we go. That's the YouTuber intro by my mum. Hi, welcome guys. I was running out of ideas because I'm busy, so I figured I would milk my family for views. <laughs> it's weird this. I feel like I have to be on like some good behavior. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I can just say what I want, and then you just complain at me afterwards. Is there anything you're dreading to hear or? No, no, just I'm um, intrigued to see what <laughs> questions are going to be asked. I saw some of them and I was like, oh my God, I can't ask my mum that. You need to vet them first. Vet them? I mean, there's quite a lot. Someone asks, what was his favourite home-cooked meal as a kid? Oh, gosh. Um... You didn't really cook. Man. I did cook, you cheeky thing. I won't say beans on toast because you made it quite clear that's not your favourite. Yeah, I don't like that. You'd always feed everyone else. You'd do the portions and then just whatever was left in the pot, you'd yeah. like, just eat it all, kind of clean it up. You're just like a hungry horse. Did your mum ever expect you to pursue a really unorthodox career like your current career as a YouTuber? What was her first reaction and what were her inner thoughts when you revealed that you wanted to pursue YouTube full time? No, I never expected you to be a YouTuber. Didn't think that was a thing, really. <laughs> or it wasn't for somebody that I'd know. I think when you first mentioned you were doing a little bit, I thought, oh, that's a nice little sideline. Something, you know, a hobby yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, it so nice. I didn't, I obviously didn't think you'd make a living out of it and thought, oh, you know, if you're enjoying it, then yeah, I did think that's good for him, you know, for you. Because yeah. I knew you loved your gaming and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I was the moment you used to have to pull the plug out and say that's enough. Yeah, you'd always turn my Xbox off when I was trying to play it. Yeah. And I would get really angry. And you'd always say, oh, just another level, just another level. I was definitely playing more than one level. I'd always have to like, hide my Game Boy when I could hear them coming up the stairs. <laughs> I would like, I'd have like... But pretending that you were asleep. Was it ever convincing? That... No, no. <laughs> no. I don't think so. What video of Connor's would you happily show a friend to prove that you're proud of your son? Oh, um... <laughs> um, <laughs> Got to really dig, in, dig deep dig there deep to there. figure out one. I mean, I did quite like your recent one um, about when you met the, the guy who went on a date. Oh, the red I thought that was friend. quite good actually because it was a very form of like Louis Theroux type <laughs> thing question. I love just putting myself in those awkward situations. Well, I imagine they're a bit more awkward for you seeing me. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever get any of your friends being like, oh God, I saw this weird thing Connor was doing? No, not really. I think That's they good. just don't, they're too polite to say. That's what British people are like, are they? They just don't say anything, do they? I think when they just see, I think probably when I've told them about you and they've watched one, it's probably been one of your not, not, not better ones or they don't understand it, the anime, so. <laughs> not, not big fans of Yowie, that's for sure. No. What's the best Welsh dish you can feasibly teach Connor? But I don't think there's any Welsh dishes, really, is there? It's just like um, leek soup. Yeah, Welsh rare bits. Welsh cakes, that sort yeah. of thing. They're like scones, but quite nice, yeah. sweet. Oh, it should be a Kaho. You know Kaho from my videos. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's like, I, I hope she's not mad yes. at me taking her son to crazy places in Japan. She oh, says. that's nice of her. No, she's, I'm glad she's chaperoning you. <laughs> Making sure I'm not getting uh, kidnapped. Yeah, into trouble, yeah. I don't know about that. Maybe she's getting me into trouble. Was Connor a difficult child? <laughs> what, was your, what was your best memory of him as a kid? He's a middle child, and they say middle child is... Uh, I feel like I caused the most problems. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. My, my older brother was very good. He's very, very, uh, <laughs> always did his homework and never got into trouble, I'd say. Yeah, definitely always in fights, always arguing in school. Always everybody else's fault, never your fault. <laughs> that is definitely me. Felt like the world was against me when I was a kid. Yeah. Just because people kept unplugging my Xbox, that's why. Did Connor do unique voices as a kid or did the habit only develop later in life? No, I think I didn't really remember you doing unique voices, to be really? fair. I used to always do it in school. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you see, that that was for your, your party piece for school then. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to become popular in school. I was certainly not popular by any metric. I, I just I just started doing it online. I thought you were talking on your Xbox. It was when you, you had your Xbox. Yeah, so... And you were sort of talking to your mates and shouting at them. This oh. is when I started uh, voice acting from home when I was like 16. I was too embarrassed to tell my mum and dad. Because obviously in the UK, it's just not a thing. Yeah, that's unheard of. I'd obviously, been, for years before that, I was playing a lot of Xbox online. When I started, I knew that my mum and dad would probably think I'm just shouting at someone. But yeah. I, was, I was repeating lines over and over again, so I was surprised they didn't clock on. Well, you were always know. shouting at games over, yeah. <laughs> I still am, that's what yes. I'm doing all the time. I'm always shouting. Some of the weirdest things you'd hear him say slash shout from his room. Oh gosh, I don't know, all sorts of weird things. Just, yeah, exactly. And I just always playing the game, you know. Um, <laughs> maybe I should have. Did you? Maybe, yeah, maybe should have investigated further. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm a bad parent. I think I was very sneaky, and I also, you know, it was it, the internet was brand new as well, so I don't think you really knew what, no. what I was doing. No, I didn't. No. But you know, I was smart. I knew that I, you know, I wasn't going to do anything stupid, and uh, so it's all right. Yeah. 
I did always sort of say that, didn't I? We, yeah. had, we had a bit of a laugh about it, but <laughs> be careful when you're on the internet. <laughs> I remember I was like 14 and I was arguing with like 30 year old men. And that, I just loved doing that. I loved getting into arguments on. I don't know why. Maybe that's why everyone loves doing it nowadays online. I can't yeah. do it now. Oh, can you pronounce Llanfair Pushwingish? Oh, gosh. Um, Llanfair Pushwingish. Um, Golgaris, Llansiliog, go, go, go. No, I can't. I have to see it, to be honest. Llanfair Pushwingish, Golgaris, and Robles, Llansiliog, go, go, go. You should know, you've been there many times. I know, I know, and I should know it. But there's nothing in Llanfair Pushwingish, really, is there? No, I was very disappointed because I went as a child and it was, I can remember it being really nice and we went on the the steam railway and things like that. It's gone down a lot now, yeah. Yeah, I don't understand why they can't. Well, I don't really think you've got any investment there, so it's not really anymore. No, shame. Because I remember I tried to film a video there and I just realised when I got there, there was nothing. Nothing. It's like, what can I make a video about? Well, I can't talk about anything. Any embarrassing childhood stories? I remember actually your older brother was playing cricket he was really into cricket and we went to a, a cricket match quite important cricket match i had to take you with me and and your younger brother they had like a, a, as they do in cricket um i don't know if anybody knows cricket they have a big meal um they sort of stop for lunch yeah yeah they, oh they have a, yeah they have it's a three course class, meal though, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. so they, they had all this nice food uh, all yeah. you know the, all the team members had done and beautiful food and they they said um right okay then so the cricket team can go in first and get their lunch and then you know obviously the adults and the spectators yeah. go in later and um you you went in <laughs> with the cricket. <laughs> you were in one of the first and you weren't even part of the team and you were in and i thought oh gosh what did the parents say did they say anything? i don't think anybody realized and i just, I just sort of i was so embarrassed I just sort of kept <laughs> That. And when you're younger, I don't think you realise you might be able to pay, for, you know, for something. Yeah, I do remember getting told off a few times for stuff that I, I got. I, they were like, "You got to pay," and I was just like ten, so I was like, "What do you mean? It's Food is free." Me. What was one thing Connor did as a kid that annoyed you? Um, played too much Xbox and. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or, or any see. console, should I say? Yeah. And you're always uh, just one more time, one more, one more level, one more level, which then would last another. I'd say five minutes, and that'd be another like two hours later. And I'd forget because I'd be busy in the kitchen or doing cleaning, and I'd think, "Oh my word, it's." <laughs> Where did Connor get his talented voice from? Oh, I don't know. Not me. Not me. <laughs> not, not not him or dad, oh, dad, no. Maybe the other postman. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like raising a uh, Welsh child obsessed with Japanese culture? Yeah, it's quite pretty weird, really. I was always into Japanese yeah, stuff from really? a young age. Yeah, very much, yeah. I used to think it was gimmicks. That culture is so gimmick. It's all a gimmick. It's I know, he's been sucked in here. It's because I played so much video games. Yeah. And I think when you play a lot of, uh, you play a lot of like Pokemon stuff, you, you kind of think, oh, where does it all come from? And then I just thought everything was so cool about Japan. Yeah. I even know. from a really young age. As you know, hemophilia was also known as the royal disease. And yeah, knew that, I knew that. Yeah, yeah. We do joke we got royal blood. Surprised that uh, Chris didn't ask me a question. I don't think Chris asked me a question. They don't know, but you love Chris's videos, don't you? Yeah. They love Chris's videos more than mine. I think they want Chris to be their son rather than me. <laughs> Chris is going to see this. He's going to get such oh, a big ego boost. Love you, Chris. They love Chris. I can't believe it. He's my mortal enemy, Chris, as well. <laughs> Which favourite Chris video? Oh, I don't know. We've seen quite a few. I, I think he's quite witty, isn't he? <laughs> Sorry. There's quite a lot of terrible ones. Um, like, like <laughs> awful. Who's your, who's your favourite child? Oh. Why is it me? <laughs> they're not favourites. They're all different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you don't, yeah. You're my favourite middle son. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good answer, isn't it? Have you listened to any of my audiobooks? You haven't had any? No, no. I don't think Shouldn't I want to. I don't think so. I think they're, aren't they? That'd be weird. People want to know your opinion on my... Uh, my uh, cosplays, the outfits that I wear. Oh yeah, some of them are... <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I think one I did like was, um, I don't know whether that was a cosplay or counted as a... You put some outfit on and you were doing like press-ups and... That was quite a good video actually. Yeah, that was a yeah. terrible video. I had to do that last minute and I just didn't know what to do. So I just filmed me oh, going nice. around doing a bunch of dumb stuff and then stringing yeah. it together. Oh, there he is again messing around. And... <laughs> there he is again messing around. <laughs> oh, this is a good question. What does your mum remember of your chess tournament days slash oh. Tournament days. Oh, well, it's chess tournament days. Yeah. Like an all day thing. A match would go on forever. And... <laughs> <laughs> I was like 12 as well yeah, trying to do these games. Because um, we had to drive yeah. all over the UK, right? Yeah. And I remember you, you hated it. Well, oh, it's just it like I remember going all the way down to South Wales. In Wales isn't a big country, but to get down there, the roads aren't great. And... That's like for three and a half hours. Yeah, four hours. four hours easily just to get to a tournament. Oh, just be know. a lot of them being just like schools and there'd be yeah. like no facilities. It was like a long day, wasn't it? <laughs> what about the uh, the COD tournament days? Oh gosh, yeah. Well, that's another story, isn't it? When I was younger, I won a lot of Call of Duty tournaments online. I won a bunch of prizes and they all started turning up. Yeah, so that was a bit odd. I had to tell dad, I was like, hey, can you put all your details in? 
because I can't put it in because I'm, I'm a minor. And then like a UPS van turned up, remember? Yeah. It was just filled with like, the whole living room was filled with boxes and then you probably thought I was like Pablo Escobar dealing yeah. drugs or something. Yeah. We did start getting a bit worried and thinking, oh gosh, this is not right. And I think as well, before like, Amazon really got going and things delivered, it was just like weird, really. What, the, all these packages? All these packages and all this, yeah, stuff you'd worn. I thought, I can't believe you could just win all that. I think you were like, not very impressed until I won an iPad. And yeah. then I think you were like, oh wow, yeah. this is amazing. And then I was impressed that you were going to win that theatre, the theatre, the cinema for the all your oh. friends. Because then you would be the coolest kid in the school. Yeah, I told the story on the Trash Taste podcast, yeah, but I, I won a movie theatre experience where you get the whole movie theatre. And I started making like a Facebook group because yeah. uh, I'd already won it. Being like, oh no, you're not cool enough to come. Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then I got banned and I didn't get the prize. Yeah. It's terrible, wasn't it? My parents still, they, they, they accuse me of cheating. Yeah. They always say Yeah, your cheating. dad says you cheated. Yeah, it's terrible. Well, you cheat. did really, didn't you? No, I, didn't. <laughs> I gamed the system. It's oh. different. It was this skull on everything. I mean, it's not a bad hoodie, is it's, it? It's good quality. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Good quality. Yeah. Maybe you should use it when I'm doing the garden. <laughs> yeah, you should. That's a priceless heirloom, that is. It's a piece of history. How much of a disappointment is Connor? Oh, I'm not, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. What are your opinions on the Welsh flag? Because I'm oh, always saying it's the best yeah. one. Yeah, definitely. There's no competition, is there? I mean, some of them are just literally three colours and... Right, see, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Have you ever watched anime? I've seen bits of it, I think, when you showed us years ago. I have a very distinct memory of... I was showing my little brother, uh, Death Note. The opening to the second opening came on, and it's uh, like a screaming opening. It's like, and you were like, what on earth is this? This is terrible nonsense. <laughs> just, why are you watching that? I just can't. But you work in a school, don't you? And, yeah, and all your kids. I know a lot of children anime. are really into it now and really. Um, yeah, I did. I sound the coolest teacher now. I did a Zoom presentation for Mum's school, and all the kids watched anime. And they were all like, "How old are they? Twelve or 10? Le yeah, 10, 11. And they'd all watched Attack on Titan. I couldn't believe it because I'm like, "Why are these ten-year-olds watching Attack on Titan?" <laughs> I don't know. It's like all. <laughs> to me. How does your mum feel about you moving to Japan? I think you should take every opportunity and you know that's where you're gonna get your work from and yeah. you know I thought oh, a nice place to visit we, you know we'll come over. <laughs> yeah because you're at that point now where you're just like kind of chilling you know yeah, you can go wherever you want yeah. you know, so you're just like oh great free holiday. When will you install a bidet at home? I want to know this as well. Oh no. I think when you go to Japan you'll try it <laughs> yeah. and you'll be you'll, you'll be enlightened you'll I think mean, I've British, wasted 50 people, years. It was a trend uh, bidets in, in Britain uh, you know in the 80s I'd say people had them but people yeah. used to just wash their feet in them. Yeah but now they're good <laughs> now they're actually good because you've got the little nozzle that shoots out you've got the, the seated yeah. heat the heated seat. Dude, well, yeah, that's going to be an experience, isn't it? A lot of them are asking you about the cosplays. They all want to know what you think. Oh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, after a while, it's like, oh, yeah, there he is, dressed up again. It must have been a shock the first time, though. You saw oh, the first stuff. time, I suppose, yeah, and like dressing up with women. And... Some of the questions are weird. Why is your son hot? Right. <laughs> don't know, man. It's all, the, all the British food, clearly. Oh, this is one, because on the podcast, I mentioned that you have a really terrible. Um, Tolerance for spicy food. I do like spicy food and I like it so that it enhances it. I don't like it where the spice takes over and you can't right, right. taste it because it's so hot. I made a joke saying that you thought paprika was spicy. Oh no. I know, uh, someone wants to know, is paprika really spicy? <laughs> no. I do remember one time you made food and you were like, oh, have you, put, have you put spices in this? And there was nothing in it but paprika. What's one thing you'll never understand about Connor's job? I mean, you don't get the anime, I don't, I must admit. So I suppose like Sam and Carl, they say he watches all these cartoons, doesn't he? He watches Tom and Jerry and whatever. Tom and Jerry is timeless though. Anyone, yeah. anyone can enjoy Tom yeah. and Jerry. That's Mr. Bean of cartoons, essentially. Yeah. Someone asks, was he a good child? Yeah. And that was a long pause, wasn't it? What was that? <laughs> that was like a three second pause. No, you were. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. Yeah, generally. <laughs> they asked if you watched Trash Taste regularly or not. We do watch it, yeah. Quite like it, actually. I like Joey and Gold. <laughs> <laughs> they can't send me. I quite like the three of you together. I think you bounce off each other good. Especially the stories about us, and, you know, it's quite hilarious. Yeah. How, how are you? <laughs> you say uh, I, I remember them differently. Yeah, a like poetic license, say. Eh? Well, yeah, well, you you know, you got to spice it up a little bit. What's, do you remember any stories that I exaggerated on a lot? Oh gosh, yeah, the food bit. I, I, <laughs> oh, no. I only ever fed you beans on toast. We did, you did make beans on toast an awful lot. Did you, you did make it at least once a week, didn't you? <laughs> probably. <laughs> when my dad was away, yeah, probably. Oh, Just that. easy and healthy food. Yeah, healthy, yeah, yeah. Carbs and beans. To be fair, you were working and you had three kids yeah. and we were already back. Yeah. And we were like, where's food? And so mum would just rip open a can tea, of Heinz tea. beans. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's for tea. I'm going to be killed if I keep talking like this. Do you know about Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? People want to know. I don't, actually. All I know is you love it. And you've got a lot of Jojo stuff. You've got to give it a watch. 
But I'll have to do then, yeah. It's pretty hard maybe, to watch. Maybe I'm, something, I'm missing something, am I? I think you are. I think you're missing out on a, oh. on a great piece of uh, cultural importance oh, to the, the new generation. Maybe I should really do, do my homework. How many times did Connor, as a kid, make you pause and think, well, how did he figure that one out? Yeah, quite a lot, actually. <laughs> really? Because I remember the first time, I think I saw something like Stephen Hawkins on, on the... Um, <laughs> on the television being interviewed about something and, and you came in the kitchen and you're only little. I can't remember how old you were, maybe eight or nine. Mm. And you go, well, there's Stephen Hawkins. And I said, oh my word, how do you know who he is? What, and, when I was like eight? Yeah, and what? you know why you knew? Because you'd, you'd been on The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember, yeah, you used to be on The Simpsons all the yeah. time. Eight-year-old astrophysicist yeah. Connor. And then another time we went to the petrol station and um, I was filling up the, the, the petrol and yeah. diesel. You said to me, oh, does it go to zero when, uh, you know, the meter on the... I said, no, why, why do you think that? He says, oh, because Homer <laughs> goes to zero. And he goes, ah, free petrol. I remember this and I have the sick memory because they used to play like four Simpsons episodes right after school. So I used to watch them. So I feel like I was half raised by Homer Simpson. <laughs> do you remember going to Germany and there was... um. There was this thing uh, you could win like a hundred euros if you you guessed the code. It'd been there for months and months and nobody would guessed this code. Yeah. And we were, it was in a bar and we were having food, I think. Yeah, and you just walked in and you 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 put the first code you put in and it, it opened it. And he wouldn't give me. And money. he wouldn't give you the money. He gave you an ice cream. You were underage. His excuse excuse was what? A load of nonsense. Just, he just didn't want to pay out. No. Yeah, things like that. You know, you just amaze me that you'll just go and do it and uh, about like you're YouTubing really. I just figured stuff out. I think. Yeah. I, yeah, you just figured it out. I'm like, no, like, I was amazed that you just decided. Because when you did come down and say to me, oh, I wasn't playing on the Xbox with my friends. I was mm. actually doing voice acting. I'm saying, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even know that, you know, it was a thing, yeah. I suppose. And you, you start to tell him it. And I'm thinking, yeah. how on earth did you even think about that? And, <laughs> anime. Anime. Someone asked, uh, what you, what's one thing you want to see in Japan? I want to definitely go and see the the bridges and the, those islands and... I just want to see everything. Oh, the one we cycled over. Um, yeah, that, 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 yeah. 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 I mean, the scenery, the once you're out of the city, set so looks amazing, absolutely yeah. beautiful. And the crossroads. <laughs> and the Shibuya Scramble, yeah, oh yeah, God. Yeah. Crystal roll his eyes here, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything's so mm. diverse, isn't it? And so different. Watch some anime before you come. Yeah, but, uh, so, yeah, yeah, because that, where's that place you go to, that, that like precinct of anime and... Akihabara. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's got anime everywhere. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. That'll, that'll be maybe too much for me, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you talk, write to each other? We don't write, do we? No, we just, I, 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 I hate texting. We just call every, it's what, us. four, five, maybe once a week, maybe? Maybe once a week, yeah. I think you make more, more of an effort, don't you, when yeah. you're far away? Yeah, although we can just see you on things. It's not the same as talking to you, is it, in person? So. Uh, people always want to know what you think of Iron Mouse. Oh yeah, I was gonna, we were asking about that. Yeah, you asked me yesterday over dinner. Your brother was saying uh, she had a unique voice and... Yeah. <laughs> well, you, we, they thought they, they, she was acting, but that's her. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna laugh. And you, yeah, and you're telling me how, you know, it's really interesting, the story, isn't it, behind her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really um, admire her. Yeah, she's very strong. Much stronger than me. I'm lazy. I just, I just drink tea all day and lounge around. Is there a favourite video you have of mine? Oh, gosh. Uh, no. <laughs> I can't think. I think it's quite a good one when you did the... You, you, mind you, that was again, was, that might have been trash taste, but you had someone on your sea dog was a... When you had the money to go around the, and buy certain figurines, that was quite interesting. I like the one, like the bikes, when he did across... The cycling special. Yeah, cycling yeah. special was good. Is it weird watching me like swear a bunch and, and say, you know, Well, I've got used to art. it now. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and the Tokyo Drift and you ruined the gearbox. <laughs> so it's, oh. I, I, I can't escape it anywhere I go, can I? I'm getting called out even if I go home, I'm getting shit. Yeah. Everyone calls me Choke Dog VA. Oh, do they? Because oh. I keep, I, I always, I always fail when it matters most. Yeah. I'm really good in practice. I'm oh yeah, killing it. chess one, wasn't it? And we were watching that. Oh, you watched the chess one? And you were so God. like, oh, I'm going, I'm going to smash this. I'm such a good chess player. And then like, you just, you know. You didn't watch the second tournament, did you? I, I don't know, the one where you got beat, you said, oh, I can't watch this. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I'd be able to watch my kid if he was doing what I'm doing. Did you watch the pole dancing one or the ear, ear cleaning one? No, I didn't watch that. Oh, I haven't watched the ear cleaning one. I haven't watched terrible. the pole dancing. I, I think I one. clicked a bit on it and that was it. It was gross it was. Oh yeah, we watched the one when he went to that club and that horrible man. Should I, should I say that? I think he was trying to... Impress. 
Yeah, I think it was trying to be funny, and then in the video it just didn't come across that way yeah. at all. They were nice enough to be though. I mean, yeah. they let me go in their club, for God's sake, and drink all their alcohol and leave. Yeah. And uh, didn't charge me $10,000 for the champagne, so I was very happy. We were all panicking. We thought I was going to have to pay £10,000. Oh. I was like, we're, we're not paying that, right? Right? And then we just kind of walked out and no one stopped us. Why beans on toast, someone asks. Don't know, it's a bit of a comfort food. I've ever been somewhere yeah, and had... Yeah. I then remember, I think we went to America one year on holiday and the food is just so rich and fatty and burgers and ugh. And <laughs> after a while, it's like beans on toast is quite staple, very basic. Yeah. I often get a lot of criticism um, because I'm always saying how bizarre America is. Yeah. And, and I think, I think you, you're like that as well. You, you're confused by America yeah, all the time, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Have you ever wanted to do YouTube? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked, how disappointed are you that I swap tea for coffee? I still drink a lot of tea, but I drink a lot of coffee as well. Do you drink a lot of coffee now? Don't drink tea. Yeah, disappointed there. <laughs> I thought you liked your tea. I think we tea, tea bags I, over to you. I drink a lot of tea still. I just drink coffee during the morning and I drink tea during the night. I didn't know tea had caffeine in it for a long time. Because I, I drink tea before bed. Do you? Yeah. yeah. And I fall right to sleep. You can't be a... Good cup of tea. I guess on that note, we can wrap it up. And yes. you can go make me a cup of tea now. I'll make you a cup yeah. of tea. <laughs> I'll go home. And make you one. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me, Mum. Yeah. Anything you want to say to the viewers before we go? Oh, thank you for listening and watching, and thank you for the questions. Oh, be nice, guys. Mum was really worried that she'd get mean comments or something. I wasn't too boring for you. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me. Yeah, yeah no I'll problem. I can go make you a cup of tea now. I'll go get you a cup of tea. All right, all right, all right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.